Hey folks, and welcome to a reading wrap-up in TBR, where I show you all the books I read since the last time I showed you. And today we have uh, quite a big pile. And uh, yeah, <laughs> based on them, I think it's been quite a while since I did the last one. Can't even remember, can't even remember when I did the last one. Anyway, let's start. As usual, these will be completely out of order when I read what. Alright, then we have quite a lot of Russian, too. Uh, Russian books. Uh, first we have Orlesky Skatsky by uh, uh, I hate when they have that uh, writing. I, I don't know how to read it. Anyway, the, these are uh, folklore stories. Uh, mainly about um, there's three of them here. And they revolve around uh, better. And they revolve around the mistress of the mountain, Hazeka Gari. I think it's meant to be this lady here. Yeah, so it's revolved around her. They were quite interesting. Um, I liked the uh, the, the last two were uh, related to each other. I liked all three of them. It was uh, quite an enjoyable story. I bought this book here in uh, my city. There's a little, um, a little store. It's got, uh, it's got Russian books in it. <laughs> so yeah, I got, I wanted something, um, easier than, um, because I have some Russian books here, long, long ones, but, uh, when I tried a few months ago, I couldn't read them. So I went to the store with that and I got this. I think I'll go back again and uh, probably buy something else as well. All right, one moment. I have a mess on my table. All right, next we have uh, Be More Batman, and this is by Let's see, this is by Now I know where his name is. By Glenn Dakin. So this is a book with advice based around Batman. I still have the bookmark on my favorite advice. I made a video about this uh, book. It was, a, it was a great read. I need to reread this again, actually. It's been a few weeks. Oh, next we have the dreaded. <laughs> well, not the dreaded. Next we have uh, the Dark Tower. Uh, and uh, sorry, the Gunslinger, the first book in the Dark Tower, in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Finally restarted this shit. Now I need to get to the next one. I haven't yet gotten to it. I mean, I'm definitely not going to finish reading this series this year for sure. I'm, I'm certain I won't. But uh, yeah, I want to. I'm just curious how it's going to go. If I didn't even have that curiosity, I just dropped this because. Oh, fuck me, it's boring. I mean, this book was so fucking boring. And again, I'm starting to vaguely remember what happened here. <laughs> nah, I remember better now, but yeah. Ugh. This is the fucking movie cover. Now I can finally return this to my friend. I borrowed it from her, and I still haven't gotten around to returning it, because I didn't finish the damn thing. Next we have a Goosebumps book. This is the one I uh, finished recently. Last week, I think. This is the Welcome to Dead House. This is by R. L. Stein. Uh, I'm sure many know who've read the, the Goosebumps books. I enjoyed this. I actually even made a video about it. I didn't think I would. But yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. It was very nice. I wasn't scared, but I, I still enjoyed it. I love that it's purple. Ah! Don't fall. Alright, next we have this. Um, and this is by uh, A. Barot. And this is Pierre uh, Rocky, or First Lessons. It's a childhood book of mine. <laughs> My dad uh, read this to me. I remember always uh, years ago looking at the pictures, but obviously I couldn't read. I enjoyed this. These are nice little uh, little stories. They're very cute. Um, this one is um, 
Wait, where is that kid? Ah, there he is. You see this kid here, the, the one holding the bouquet? So he's very nervous, he's going to first class. Or to the first grade, I guess it would be in other places. That he wakes up in the middle of the night, <laughs> dressed up and everything. That's how it used to be in Russian schools, you know, the kids had a uniform, you had to get your backpack. Or your, well, your bag, they didn't exactly have backpacks and they had... Uh, from what my grandma told me, they had bags like he's holding, you see? Right there. Like these. <laughs> yeah, these were fun. Running out of room here. I'll just have to put them down below each other. And here's another one by the same author. And this is Rivushka. Or, um, I don't know, what would be the correct translation? I guess maybe Cry Baby might fit. Now, it's not just about this girl here that's crying. But, yeah, I guess it's like with short story collection. The, the same thing with the other one. Um, the, 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 ah, no, no, actually no. It's only with this one. So it's, um, it, she's in one of the stories. In one of the stories, but it's a bunch of other ones. There's actually ones in here that uh, repeat themselves from the other book. Essentially the same. But still... <sighs> Bloody hell, I'm running out of room. One moment. Alright, next we have... Sestrichka Anushka i Bratsa Ivanushka. There we go. It's a story about a uh, brother and a sister. This is the sister, the, the goat's the brother. They're uh, left alone after their parents die. And one time when they uh, return home, uh, her brother really wants to drink and he drinks from a puddle. And his sister tells him, don't drink from the puddle, you'll turn into a goat. And he does, and he turns into a goat. I don't know how old she is. And then um, a man comes and uh, you know says, you don't have to be alone, I'll marry you. So they get married and uh, now she has a husband. And her brother has a, a brother-in-law. And there's an evil witch, of course. It's actually a book that uh, opens and is supposed to stand, but... Um, yeah, it's not in the best of conditions, as you can see. We had to actually glue it together. There's also another one of my childhood books. Ah, uh, that's the man that she uh, marries. Over there on the horse. It is a happy ending, though. So that's nice. Next, I have the Smurf books. So this is uh, this is Smurfette. It's a Smurf books. It's how um, it's how Smurfette came to be. I guess her origin. Although it's different than what it was from the TV show, and not the TV show, the cartoon. I argue the cartoon was better. Much better. Th this wasn't really that good. I wouldn't even give this to a child, to be honest. It's just so... Well... Lame. And not really, you know, doesn't have much of a base. Now, I get it, it's meant to be for kids, but come on. You know, at least make it somewhat uh, cohesive. Because in the... Um, right, in, in the uh, TV... Uh, in the cartoon, uh, Smurfette is made by Gargamel. He creates her. And he sends her to the village. Now, he sends her disguise. He gives her a blonde wig. She, originally, her hair was black. And she's there to try to trick the Smurfs. Now, and here he sends her as she is. You know, for the Smurfs to find her. And at first, none of them finds her attractive. Fucking horns, even on Friday. Now, you see, uh, when she first arrives, her dress is different, and she doesn't have the high heels or the blonde hair. And the end of the story, you know, the, the Smurfs feel bad for her. She almost destroys their village, but doesn't succeed, naturally. And, um, you know, she cries to them, they feel sorry for her, so Papa Smurf, I remembered Andrew. 
Yeah, so Papa Smurf um, uses his potions and turns her good. I don't remember if that's what he did in the cartoon or not. I, th I think maybe, yeah, I think maybe he did. He did do that as well in the cartoon. Um, and then suddenly after that, uh, they're all attracted to her because now she's wearing high heels and she has blonde hair and her dress is different. Whatever. Sounds <laughs> a bit a bit odd, though. Yeah. Let's not think about that. And this is another uh, Smurf story. The Smurfs and Generous Gargamel. I guess that's how you translate that. Um, it's a story where um, the Smurfs... Um, they're um, redoing, not redoing the village, but they're renovating the village. I think they're making a pathway. And you know the Smurf that always... There's one Smurf that never does anything right. I don't remember if he's clumsy. I think he's clumsy? No. Wait, there's one Smurf who does everything wrong and, um... They send him to go get rocks so he wouldn't interfere with them building. Instead of regular rocks, he finds diamonds. And then Gargamel uh, sees that the Smurfs have diamonds and pretends to be nice to them so they'll give him the diamonds. He gives them gifts and the other Smurfs uh, trust him, but Papa Smurf of course, of course doesn't. He's still suspicious. It turns out well, in the end. Yeah, but still also really stupid. Also, whoever edited the book inside really should have placed the pictures better. Because whatever the happening is, it's already backwards and the pictures, it's... I, I, I should explain what I'm, the fuck I'm talking about, shouldn't I? Well, I, su I suppose it doesn't really fucking matter, does it? Like, uh, you see the pictures and the writing? So what's ha what they're describing in the pictures doesn't really match with the writing often. I see there he found some diamonds instead of rocks. There's Gargamel. Yeah, I don't, I, never mind. Really not a big deal. Alright, next we have... Oh, actually, this is the last one. And then we have this, Azbuka. So this is the uh, Russian ABCs, essentially. It's ABCs, but in Russian. Now, it it doesn't just have the ABCs, of, uh, you know, in Russian. It also uh, has um, the Russian alphabet, I should say, more accurately. It doesn't just have that. It also has stories and poems in here as well. I must say, now, this book is, it's old. It's very old. It was written quite a long time ago. And is it, because it has even stories about death in here. I'm thinking, you sure this is meant for little kids? Quite grim stories, too. Well, it's one, but... I'm just surprised how grim it is. Yeah, yeah, it was great uh, going through all these again. I really enjoyed it. Beautiful art inside, though. I, I ruined this book when I was a kid. I'd scribble inside and everything. Oh, horrible. But yeah, really nice. All right, so those are all the books that I've read since the, since the last time I told you. Now for that TBR. So I'm currently reading, I need to get back to it. I'm reading this, uh, Goosebumps, uh, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb by R.L. Stein. I'm here, I think I'm page 40 something. It's not too bad, we have a uh, so as a kid, his name is Gabe. He's spending Christmas with his parents in Egypt. And there's gonna be a mummy. Check out that face. I gotta say, the this is a newer cover. There's an older one. I, I quite like the older one, I think, more. And this isn't bad. I'm going to eat your whatever. Kinda looks like a zombie. Almost. It's also, um, I think it's where you can run your finger on it. Anyway. So that's that one, and now, this is what I'm currently reading. 
This is a Dike Sabaka Dingo by Ruvim Freeman Freeman Ah Freeman Ruvin Freeman or, or Freeman I guess this would be what the wild dog dingo. I just started it. So far, we have a girl. In the first uh, pay and second page, she said she wants a Australian dog uh, from the breed dingo. So I don't know. This will actually have something to do with the dog. We'll see. Doesn't uh, look like it by the based on the on the picture. Another picture, the cover. Now, I bought these, uh, this book, and also Sherlock Holmes one from my local library. A few years ago, like four, I think, years ago, I bought these two. And <laughs> I'm actually reading them. I never thought I would. Now, I tried reading this a few months ago, and I couldn't even, I couldn't even read through the first page. But now, after all the practice I had, I actually managed to read it. I'm not fully, um, fully yet reading that well. There's still words I don't really understand well. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm trying to consistently read each day. So I, actually, I probably won't go buy a book yet. I'll finish this one and then Sherlock Holmes and then I'll go buy another book. Cause I gotta finish these as well. All right, so that is it, folks. These are the books I read, and these are the books I'll continue reading. I uh, don't know what I'll uh, do with other one. Well, now obviously I gotta start rereading books again. And now rereading, reading books again. So that's it. Let me know if you've uh, heard of any of these. Hey, even the Russian ones. Maybe uh, some Russian people will watch, or people from Russia. I don't, I, let me know if you read the Goosebumps book, maybe, or the other ones. Alright, so that is it, folks. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!